Hey, Eli here. Today I want to talk to you about the Canon uh, 70 to 200 RF. It's a, it's a really cool lens. Um, I like the way that it's compact. It's a lipstick lens. Uh, I've had no issues in the last two years of any loosening or anything like that or dust inside the lens. Um, it's weather sealed and it's been great. Uh, I think it's a lens that everyone should own as far as a 70 to 200 or in that range. Uh, 150, even a 135 works too. But the versatility of Cohen 70 to 200, um, it's very easy to use at a wedding day. Helps me capture a lot of moments. Ceremony, I've got either a 28 to 70 on the right or a 24 to 70 and on the left. I've got my 70 to 200 so I can reach out, take photos, uh, really get in there close. But uh, yeah, it's just been an, an amazing lens. I like the ergonomics. It fits perfectly as far as the zoom ring, where it is and the throw is nice and short. Just enough for me to you know, not have any issues. I've used some lenses that have a longer throw and then some lenses where the, you know, the zoom is out further. Um, that can, you know, put a little strain on your wrist, but, uh, but yeah, this thing is great. Easy to travel with, fits in all my bags. So today I just want to jump in through a few images, um, look at about 112. I have photographed over hundred weddings, over 150 sessions with this. I pretty much use it on most every, every shoot, just a little bit. Um, whether I'm going to suck in the mountains and, uh, or just get some separation or just if I'm far away from my subjects, uh, headshots too. This is my main headshot lens. So. Let's jump into the computer, uh, into Lightroom here, and we'll look at some images, starting out with an engagement session. We're again gonna go uh, my most recent work to my oldest work. And so here, got Multnomah Falls. We're reaching out to the bridge here, far away. Uh, he was proposing up here, and so I was able to capture a little bit of that. So next we've got up in the mountains, um, we've got the R5 at 124 millimeter. I'll find myself all through the ranges on this lens. Uh, not all, often do I get out to 200 except for a ceremony, but extremely sharp at 2.8. Uh, just a beautiful photo. And then ceremony with the R5, looking great, nice and sharp. And then senior portrait, we are at 200 millimeter. So you can see how sharp it is there. And that, you know, blur is just amazing. Here, this might have been a panoramic. I think it was. Yeah, probably a panoramic. Yeah, definitely a panoramic. Probably six images, three across the bottom and three across the top. So, and probably, yeah, that's about what the photo would look like if it was just one image. And then bringing in the mountain right here with these guys. And just some separation there in the canyon. And a toast. There was a, I had a light on this guy right here. And so I was pretty, I was across the room, pretty far away, probably about 60, 70 feet, I think, maybe further. Uh, but yeah, really, really versatile. Trying to get a little bit of those mountains in there at sunset, kind of far away, but still helps us suck them in. And right there, we've got first dance, looking great. And then senior portrait, very sharp. Yeah, another senior session, bringing in the mountain up here. And just a portrait out in the woods for ceremony, for post-ceremony. And bringing in this mountain right here, just enough. And again, the day before, right there. And then ceremony, first kiss. And a panoramic, this one's fun. And then a super panoramic. <laughs> yeah, really brought in the mountains there. We're still, we're pretty close, but still, you know, that's 200 millimeter. That was, that was pretty far away. So you're yelling at your clients. And just after first kiss, walking down the aisle and a portrait. This is probably a panoramic. Honestly, can't remember. And then just a single image. And you can see a little bit of that flare in there. This lens um, will flare if you're shooting straight into the sun. You know, it's not really going to do much flaring unless you're, you're really getting in there. And with such a tight lens, it doesn't happen too often. Another image of the flare coming in. And just straight down, far away, 168 millimeter. Here's a headshot for you. Great separation. 
and documenting a concert. Super sharp, 2.8, 1600 ISO on the R6. And same thing, super sharp, 200 millimeter. Yeah, that's great. Just a beautiful bouquet. Portrait. Yeah, that separation is great. And here's a panoramic uh, six image Brenizer method. So you're getting all that separation, everything in there. These are hard to do. You got to keep track of where you took a photo because when you're so tight and 147 millimeter, it's got to be real careful. And the portrait. And then, yeah, love that. Look at that. So cool. 200 millimeter. Yeah, 150 millimeter. And then this is a panoramic, getting that bridge sucked in right there, making it nice and big. This one I had to make quick because we're in the street. And just a portrait out there in the road. In the snow there, this was cold, like below freezing. This is a really cool image. This was in Colorado. Um, they were in a field of grass and I just dropped this down in the grass and then the sun was out and it's a really cool portrait. I love this one. And then ceremony. And then just a family shoot. Really bring the mountains in, a panoramic. And this was just cool. This kid was just running on a family shoot. And, uh, oh, I saw the sun come in. I said, hey, go run over there. Kid had lots of energy, so we did. And my buddy Matt's wedding. Oh, actually, yeah, this is, uh, I don't know how this got in here. This is uh, my second shooter, my good buddy, Sean, I think. Yep. And this is a famous violinist, Istanbul. This was late at night in Istanbul on the, at a wedding. Just the, the water and the skyline. That was a cool portrait. 111 millimeter. Some walk-in portraits. This thing tracks really well and it's really sharp. And some more portraits. Very slowly. Bella, super sharp. And then just from my hotel, looking around Istanbul, just trying to try and capture some of the, the craziness. I think there's like 27 million people here. I just wanted to get a little bit of that in. It's just crazy. I love the compression. And this is beautiful. Full 200 millimeter. And a portrait right there. Just, man, it's great. And then a panoramic, same spot. And this is a panoramic, six image. Another one, six images, just some walking. Yeah, so that's a panoramic version of this. You get a little extra out of it. A little portrait with the mountain in there. Some portrait with the mountain. And then it's the styled shoot for a new venue. I'm trying to get the mountains in there. This is probably a five or seven image panoramic. On the bridge again, ceremony. Yeah, this is where, you know, this lens is made for capturing stuff from far away. It is perfect. And panoramic, getting in Mount Hood, outside of Hood River. Another panoramic, trying to bring these mountains in a little, but you know, not, not a lot visible there. And then ceremony, whoops. And then here's a really big panoramic, really wanted to suck the mountains in. And worked out. Another one of those. And this, I can't remember if it's a panoramic or if it's just a portrait. I can't remember. But any, either way, love this image. This session was just epic. We got to the beach right in time for sunset. And if you know traffic in San Francisco, we lucked out. And this is a panoramic. Six images. Oh, come on. Yeah. 
super cool up here in Bend, Oregon. Just a country road, snowing heck uh, crazy, and yeah, beautiful. And band shoot in Portland. My buddies, my brethren. And just a portrait in Sayulita. And walking the streets of Sayulita. A couple's portrait. Some snow. Perfect. And then, yeah, the elopement up in the mountains. And really, that really heavy snow coming in. And then, yeah, another last one is just another elopement photo. So, cool. Um, yeah, I've delivered, gosh, I think 15,000 images out of this lens. And they've all been awesome. I mean, I, every time I use it, I'm like, oh, I should use it more. But, uh, you know, with that reach, it's it can be a little more challenging. Um, so if you're trying to take, you know, headshots or anything, it's easy because you're just, you know, you know, you know, you're focused on something really tight. But, um, but yeah, it's I think it's something that I have always known I've needed for ceremonies and forget to use a lot for portraits, but try and bring it out now and again. 85 is just a lot more manageable. And so I'll find myself using that a lot more. Um, and then, you know, with the 1.4, you really get that instant bokeh. But with this, you get the compression and the bokeh. So, um, yeah, those are my thoughts on this lens. It's uh, it's great. You know, these aren't cheap lenses, but uh, I think it's definitely worth the money. I don't think there is a budget option at the moment for, for that. But, uh, but, yeah, if it's helpful, let me know. And, uh, yeah, give me your thoughts in the comments if you've got one and uh, where it sits in your lineup. If it's your favorite, second, third, fourth. Uh, probably my fourth most used lens. So, cool. Have a good one.